today I have something that's actually been requested by one of you guys down in the comments. I will be showing you how to do pony hair and how to fix it up using Little Miss Finger Paints here. Now, as you can see, her hair is not in the best shape and it definitely needs some work. I'll also be showing you like how I clean the bodies and things and we'll get her looking nice and pretty. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. She doesn't look like she's got too bad of hair. It still feels pretty nice. So hopefully this will just be a case of some washing and curling and not having to pull out a straightener. <laughs> I might make a separate video on how to do that because it is a little bit complicated and intimidating for some people. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this where you guys can actually see it. But right now we are going to go ahead and just go ahead and give her a bath. The things that you will need in order to do this will be some regular hand soap. I just use this kind. And you'll also need a magic eraser. Excuse that mine is like falling apart. I do this a lot. <laughs> and then you'll also need some hair conditioner, just regular human hair conditioner. I just had this travel size bottle laying around, so this is what I'll use. Tresemme is a pretty good one and it leaves their hair smelling pretty nice as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. First thing that you're going to need is some hot water. Whenever you are actually getting them wet, be sure not to submerge the pony underneath the water fully because they do have a metal washer in their butt that holds the tail in place. So whenever you are getting the tail wet especially, be sure to hold the pony at a down angle so that the water, if it does get inside, runs out instead of staying trapped in the body. So now that she is nice and wet, we'll go ahead and scrub her down with some soap and the magic eraser and see if we can get all these little marks off of her body. And if there are ever any marks, like she has right there on her chin, that you want to get off that just will not come off with the magic eraser and soap, you can use acetone. Just be sure not to use it on details like the eyes, the cutie mark, or the hoof part. This will take those paints right off. So, an area like that, you could absolutely use the acetone to get that off. So, I don't actually have some right now, so next time we go to the store, I will pick some up in order to finish cleaning her, but other than that, she is nice and clean. So now we are going to go ahead and condition the hair. Do not be afraid of conditioner. Lather that stuff all over the hair. And sometimes I will rub it into the vinyl as well just to get any dirt that I might have missed. Some people use fabric softener, but I feel that that actually gives their hair a different texture, and I don't really like it myself. 
So this is a really easy way to do it. And if you are cleaning ponies for resale, using human hair conditioner is a very good idea because if you use fabric softener, there's a chance that people could be allergic to it. And this way you can pretty much guarantee that no one will be allergic to your pony whenever they pick it up. And with the conditioner set in there, I'm going to just go ahead and use a pony comb and brush through all of her hair to make sure that the conditioner is in there really well. And we'll leave her for a couple of minutes. Some people will say that you need to start from the base of the tail and work your way up. I find that it doesn't really make much of a difference. You're still going to lose some hair no matter what you do. It's just how much are you willing to lose. But you see, the conditioner is already working and it's going through that tail so easily. Just like that. Now if you are doing this dry, if you are just brushing your hair out dry, absolutely start from the bottom and work your way up with this. You don't need to worry about it. It will just go right through. Like so. So now you can see how gross the brush gets and you will lose some hair no matter what you do. So now I'm just going to let her sit. Some people wait five minutes, I'm impatient. So I will come back to you after a couple of minutes when I think that she has sat long enough. <laughs> okay, I think that's been enough time. So we'll go ahead and we'll wash the conditioner out of her hair and we will get styling. Alright, so I'm going to try to show you how to do this from my bed, just because it's going to be easier to show you from this perspective. But what we're going to do is we are going to section her hair and put some curls in it. We will be using some plastic straws and bobby pins in order to secure it. So we'll start with the tail. We'll go ahead and section it off kind of evenly. Sometimes I bother with the uh, color, sometimes I don't. And what we do is we get out two bobby pins per curl. We will go ahead and pull the hair down, hold it against the straw like that, take the bobby pin and put it in there, pull it a little bit farther down, and then just start curling up. Sometimes it'll fall out. I usually don't care that much. Just move it over so that it catches. And once you're all the way up, anything that fell out, you can wrap it around. Take your other bobby pin and secure it like so. If it keeps falling down anyway, you can add a third one. So we'll get all the way up here. Take our third bobby pin. And we will wrap that in so that the curl looks like that. And then we just repeat this on the other side. Go ahead and take all of our hair. Our straw, put it at the base of the tail, take out our bobby pin, oops, she fell over, <laughs> secure. 
secure the hair in the bobby pin and roll up. Just like so. Then we take our bobby pin and secure the hair in place. That one's not quite secure. Usually it doesn't react like this. I don't know why. Sometimes it just does not catch. But it's fine. And then we have two curlers in there and it looks like medieval torture. Okay. And now, whoops, we'll do the same thing to her mane. This time I do usually care a little bit more <laughs> about the color. So we'll go ahead and we'll section out all of the green. Just like so. That's usually easier to do whenever she's laying flat. And then we will take, I usually use a slightly thinner straw for the very first curl. And like so. Place the straw. Take our bobby pin. And try to catch all of the hair for once. Another strategy is to just like curl it a few times so that everything is kind of even in there. And then place the straw. Place the bobby pin and curl up. Then we take our other bobby pin and secure it into place. Just like so. And I will do that to the rest of the hair as well. And I will check in with you whenever I'm all done with that. Alrighty, so now we have her all up in her curlers. And she is ready to dry. So in the morning, I will take these out and I will film it. And show you the rest of what I do to make them look super, super cute. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so now that it is the next day, she is all dry and ready for us to take out her curlers so that we can get a better look at her. So I'll start here at the tail and just get all of these bobby pins out. This takes a while sometimes. Slide the straws out. Yeah. There we go, and then we have the top of her head. Just like that. very last straw comes out and now she has some adorable little curls so you can go ahead you can kind of try to loosen some of them up to make them nice 
And yes, the bobby pins will stick to the magnets on their feet. You can separate the curls into multiple pieces, which is one thing that I do a lot to try and make it look a little fuller. Like that. And yeah, that is pretty much it on how to do a regular pony hair style. As you can see, she looks so much better than she did before. And that is all that I do to my ponies to make them look super, super cute and pretty much new again. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, then please subscribe and leave a like down below. It really helps me out and helps me grow and helps me know what you guys like to see from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!